good morning and welcome back to my channel if you are brand new here welcome welcome and if you're returning welcome back and thank you guys so much for being here so um today i wanted to do kind of um it's a it's a haul um and it's a haul with a purpose and i know a lot of times my hauls probably don't really serve much purpose because it's milk glass and other than loving the stuff um probably not a whole lot of purpose today but um this morning real quick before i start work and get all of that going on um in fact it's not quite six o'clock in the morning yet so i've already been awake for a little while got roger off to work made his lunch and everything so um that was kind of my morning and anyhow i wanted to try and get my life more organized um i'm always kind of chaotic i'm a, I'm a definite list person um, and when i was still in college i relied on my planners very very heavily um, now i tend to keep a lot of things on my phone but it's not really the best especially if i'm using my phone for other things um, to kind of switch back and forth and i do love planning i love the process of planning i love um, getting different things to work with the planning so I just want to make a quick video and um, just kind of show you what I got and then I'll make future videos showing you what I'm going to be using um, as I plan out um, the start of next year I also need to plan out for the rest of November and of course for December because we have the holidays coming up and so um, I just feel like I'm always kind of like behind the curve although this year I did start really early with a lot of my Christmas projects. Um, so I'll show you that in a separate video as well because I wanna show you what all I've made um, this year. So I think that'll be fun. And then I do need to make some soap. So if anyone's interested in that, I'll probably have a video where I'm making soap. I love to make soap. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. I love the science, the chemistry behind it. And then I of course love the end product because I love my soap. Um, and Roger has been asking for quite some time for me to make another batch of my charcoal soap that he loves. And now my best friend, her husband, also really seems to like the black soap, so I need to make a double batch. But anyhow, aside from all that, um, I do have a couple of other things that are kind of, I'm working on, still working on editing that house video because it's been monstrous. But anyway, so... I'm gonna stop chatting because otherwise this video will be super long. And I just kind of want to give you guys a quick glimpse at some of the goodies that I have gotten. And um, yeah, so let's just dive on into it, shall we? All right, so um, first things first, I guess. Let me kind of move some of this out of the way. I'll show you what I got from Amazon and um, did make a trip out to Hobby Lobby. That sort of thing. Well, I'll show you this real quick. But these actually tie in to what I'm doing for my gift giving this year. I made um, several crochet blankets. And so um, I got some tags made that say crochet with crocheted with love. And then they have little grommet things. And so these are super cute. I'm pretty excited to use these. So, the little grommets there, and I went with the darker color because I thought it was more me. It's kind of more my my jam, so I did that. That was really cute. Uh, these came in super fast, and the quality of them is actually really, really good. Um, please forgive the crinkle noises. I don't know. Some people are bothered by crinkle noises, others are maybe not so much. But they're just little vegan leather tags to go on all of the blankets and such that I made this year so I will show you the blankets that I've completed and I've gotten several done um, super excited about that so the other thing is um, oops, sorry I just bumped the camera I've been using this one for a little while now and this is just a little pocket do you remember these my grandmother had something similar and like you could put like you know important information in the front blah 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 you know your normal calendar stuff what I like about it though is it goes from 2024 to 2027, which is super handy. And so um, I just write in my schedule for work. And then if we have any like appointments or anything like that, I'll put that in there also. And then like my kids' birthdays, um, grandkids' birthdays, that sort of thing. 
So that's what I do with this one. And so I keep this in my purse because it's super handy to have um, if I have, you know, to jot down any notes or anything like that. It's like super convenient. It's, it's hard, like a hard cover. So I really like this. Um, but yeah. My mom's birthday is Christmas Day. That's when my nieces were born. So I just like to keep track of things like that. So this has actually been working out really well. So I love that. And that I got off Amazon. Now these are just notebooks. Um, this one's just lined paper. I use this for everything. It's my catch-all for everything. Um, for making grocery lists, uh, writing down recipes, what have you. It's just it's a convenient size. And also fits in my purse when I go to the grocery store. I got that. And I got this one. Oops, sorry. At um, Ross or TG Maxx. I can't remember. But this is just dot grid paper. And this is what I'm actually going to use to start planning our house um, renovations and stuff in. Um, as you can see, I was taking measurements and like, or I was kind of messing around with planning for the kitchen. Um, but then I realized I didn't have all the tools I wanted to really kind of like delve into planning the house stuff. And I do love this color. It's got like some gold on it. I just love it. But, um, anyhow, so that's what this one was originally. What I wanted to do was I wanted to map out and keep track of the house repairs and what we're doing with the house. Because like I said, um, in my other video, we've kind of gone a whole different direction now because Roger got a sink. So that's what I had this for. But then, um, so a long time ago, back like when my eldest was probably like four or five, I actually went to school for interior design a long time ago. That's how long ago it's been. And I do have actual templates for that, like where I have like the little mini toilet and the sinks and all that kind of stuff. Those are actually in my old drafting box somewhere in the back bedroom. And I just, I didn't want to have to try to like move everything, try to find my old drafting box. So anyway, um, I did get this off of Timu. Um, I know people have mixed feelings on Timu. I usually only get stuff like when they send me those little like for free kind of things and you just have to pay shipping. And I've only ordered from Timu like a couple of times. I mean, this stuff seems like it's okay. But anyhow, obviously this is not in English. But it had a lot of, um, this is actually a little sandpaper thing that they sent for the mechanical pencil, for, not mechanical, for the uh, pencils. And it does have like some tape, but I bought it essentially because I really wanted the rulers and the little, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, for all the little uh, templates. So there's that one. There's this one. Again, you probably can't see that. So I thought it would be really handy with trying to map out stuff for the house. And then of course you have your triangle, another one. So I just thought these would be really handy. And this will actually come in handy also for like when we do the yard stuff because it has like, you know, like the pond shape. I can almost make that out with this. So that's what this was essentially purchased for was those items. And can I get it back in here? Who knows? But anyhow, so that's what I, picked up this for and it was just I think I paid I don't know a few bucks for shipping or something it wasn't terribly expensive at all so that's that um I don't know how these even got in here to begin with but anywho so that's what I got this for was just to use it to go in conjunction so I keep knocking over my glitter glue um, conjunction with this notebook for house plans. And then also from Timo because I love pens. I don't know, I have a problem. So 
So I ordered several packages of like little pens. I didn't really need any pens, but I thought they were cute. And they remind me of like when I was like a little kid, like all like the, you know, the fun little characters and stuff. Oops, I keep bumping the camera. I just thought they were cute. The packaging was kind of, and it obviously gone through customs or something because it was obviously in like not the greatest shape. Isn't that cute? I don't know. I got a weird thing for pens. And then I think these are supposed to be like highlighters, if I remember correctly. I thought they were super cute. I love Hello Kitty. I used to collect Hello Kitty when I was a little kid. So that's what I got from them. And then, also from Timu, I got a set of bone folders because I needed these so badly last year and I, every time we went to the store, I kept forgetting to like run by Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby only being open on Saturdays and that's typically the day that we go to the grocery store is kind of a bummer. So I just got a couple of those. And then I got some tweezers because I'm gonna be doing a lot of planning coming up and so these are for that. I thought they were cute. I like the color and it kind of goes with the pens I got. Last thing I got from Timu was this notebook. Sorry if it's crinkly. I don't actually need another notebook, but you know, just a basic planning kind of notebook. So, but again, I thought the colors kind of went well with like the pens and stuff that I got. And again, because I clearly have a problem with hoarding pens, I just thought they were cute. And I thought this would be cute to use because like I said, I need to get my life in order. And it's a managed time notebook. I mean, how more, you know, how much more appropriate could you possibly be? So that was all from Timo. But my sister had sent me, and I'm not gonna flip it over because it has all of her address and information and stuff on there. So I have a thing for stationery also. And my dream is to one day have my own stationery um, line. But anyhow, that's another thing. And then, of course, she wrote me a cute little letter. And the paper is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I love this paper. It's so cute. But she sent me a bunch of stuff that she found. Now, my sister lives in Canada. And um, they have a Korean stationery place in Toronto, I guess. And so she picked up a few things for me. And then she also picked up a couple of things at a store that's not too far from her as well. It's a little pocket notebook. It's so cute. With the cat. And then she got me some cat washi. Isn't that cute? Some kitty cat sticky notes. So, because <laughs> I've been doing so much like crocheting and stuff and she sent me a little knitting kitty, which is so appropriate. I love that. Some kitty stickers. They're so cute, so, so cute. I can't wait to get to use these in my planner. So I thought those were super adorable. Love everything. It's so cute. And then of course my Korean stickers. Because for anyone who doesn't know, my sister and I are half Korean. Love those. They're so cute. Love those. So that was from my sister right there right now and then this is what I got from Amazon and I'm so excited this is my first year actually in a happy planner and um, I'm so excited 
So I hope you guys can see it well. But I loved the cover and it's kind of like a heavy duty plastic. It kind of reminds me of like the dividers they used to have in the old, um, oh, what's it called? All-Star Planners or, anyway, that's what it reminds me of. It's kind of that thicker plastic, but I love the color. I love the color of the rings, especially. And I loved just the tones of this one. So let's take a peek, shall we? Oh, that's cute. It's got like stars. I don't know if you can see it. It has like stars right there. Oops, I'm going to this in for a little bit more. Um, but I love the muted colors because I'm more of an earthy color kind of person. It came with some stickers. Let's get this in the frame. So two sheets of stickers, which I thought was awesome. It's very boho. And it has the This Planner Belongs To page. This is for 2025, of course. But then it has your 2025, 2026 pages there. I did use a ring planner last year, but or a disc planner last year, but it was from Walmart and it was kind of like the paper was really thin and I just used it for bills. This one I'm hoping to use for the everything things. But then it has like, you know, important dates to remember for January, like my birthday's on the 14th, 14th, and then Roger's on the 15th, so I call it our birthday. Um, but we'll notice that it's on a Tuesday and Wednesday this year. So I'll probably be celebrating our birthday on Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. But anyway, you can do that for the entire year, where you can actually plan out birthdays, anniversaries, that sort of thing. Um, let's see. All right. Now, um, with this planner, which I thought was really awesome, is it gave you October, November, and then December of this year. So you could, like, finish out the year, which I love. And um, so... In an upcoming video, I'm going to do November for the rest of the November, and then I'm going to do December with you guys, because I think that'd be kind of fun. And then here's your, um, you're going to start off for January, the first couple of days of January. And then here's your month at a glance. I love these for bills, because that's what I use all the time. And then we go into... January, of course, last little bit of, you know, December here, but then we have, um, and I love these. I don't know what these kind of squares are called because I'm not like a huge planner person. I'm sure there's a planner channel somewhere that can tell you more about this, but I liked the size of the boxes. So, and I like that it's, you know, you can have your priorities and you can take care of important looking ahead, your notes. And then of course it has like, there's like so much room to write on this one. But really what I was loving about this was that, you know, there is so much space to write everything. And then I just love the idea of being able to like, you know, pull the pages out when I need to, rearrange them. And so that's essentially why I got this one. And then of course the rest of the months are going to be the same. Oops. So you want that at a glance. And then of course you have your, your weeklies that are in the larger boxes, which I love. So I wouldn't say it's definitely not a horizontal planner. I don't know what they would call this one, to be honest with you. But let's see. Oh, one of the thing, other things that I loved was just how pretty these tabs are. Sorry, kind of all over the place. It's like January. Isn't that gorgeous Like the cover? February, March. And this one says, follow the stars. Love that. April, all your dreams are possible. Of course they are. May, shine on. June, dream on. July, isn't that pretty? Ah, oh, that's so pretty. August. Be a seeker of everyday magic for September. That's pretty. 
October, be love, be light, love, love, love. November, I am a child of the moon. These are so gorgeous and they're so like, I just love the colors because they're not like super bright, they're more neutrals, but that's just gorgeous. Wishes and dreams and then amour. And then plan a happy life. And then the back page. Or the back cover, which I think is so pretty. Yeah, so it tells you all about it there. Oh, it says dashboard layout. That's what it's called. And if you can hear it, Lupin, he's chasing this, his sisters probably. So I got that. And then I wanted... So this is Amazon. This was also Amazon, mostly because I'm like... I don't know, instant gratification person. So I got these blank pages. It says today's date, top priority to do, notes, schedule. So kind of similar to what's already in the planner, but I wanted more pages that I could write on. So let's open this real quick, maybe if I can. And I think to bring my pocket knife out with me. to get into this. But I've never had just like scrapbook tweezers before, like for stickers. So my goal for next year is of course to be more organized because you know, we have a lot of things we need to budget for. Um, things that we need to get, you know, taken care of, whether it's paying off debt or just, you know, life things like planning for um, what we're doing for the house, that sort of thing. And so these are the same on the front and the back. So you get essentially two days worth of use out of each one. So... And the nice thing is that they'll just pop into the planner, of course. I don't know if I can do it this many. I might have to do them more individually. But anyway, so that was essentially the plan for these, was that we're going to go inside of here. And I will do this, the rest of this later. Okay, so that was that. And then, of course, to go with that same plan, because I wanted the muted tones. I actually ordered these. Now, I'm not 100% sure how... Um, it says, thank you. It was really cute. Thank you. And that's the couple. But again, this came off of Amazon. But they're all shiny, glossy stickers. They're super gorgeous. I mean, they're so pretty. So here's January. And they're, you know, they're super nice quality. But I don't know how well they're going to be able to write on them with just a regular pen. So I'll have to test that out and I'll show you. And here's March. But I loved these muted tones because I think they're so pretty and they will go so nicely with the planner. was kind of the whole thing I was going for. Because, well, now that I've dark these up, trying to like put them in there. Um, I thought they would go so well with the other stickers that are already in here. So it's February again. But with those muted tones, I just thought they would be really, really pretty in here. And you get like a ton of stickers. You have all the months. They're so pretty. May, June, I don't know. There's just something so pretty about these and because they're so neutral, I just was totally digging that. Isn't that gorgeous? They are really beautiful stickers. They're so pretty. 
October and like I love the that the pictures like the the graphics or what have you they're like kind of like watercolor and they're kind of muted so I love that November of course December but again look how nice and like pretty that is it's like so like a watercolor which I totally dig and these are just like some little extra stickers to put throughout the planner gorgeous pretty 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 so I absolutely cannot wait to use these in my planner as well and I will show you like how well they are for writing on and stuff too Cleanings, you know, for cleanings. I'm guessing this is for like if you take your clothes to the dry cleaners, but for me, this would just be laundry, the hangers. I can see that. Hanger, there's a grocery bag. Um, dentist, of course. These are obviously, you know, taking time out for yourself, for exercise, to meditate, a reminder about taxes. First day of work, last day of work. I guess if you're planning on retiring. Um, good habits. Some more little like flags. Get it done. Urgent. Those are so cute. They're like little veggies. Weights for people that like to work out. So super cute. Cute, cute, cute. they were cute so love those and then this is the last thing I think I got this is the last thing I think this yeah this is the last thing I got off of Amazon again sorry for the crinkles crinkles can't be helped so I picked out these because, again, super kind of like a muted um, colors. They're not like super ostentatious. I mean, they obviously do have color to them, but they're like really pretty. So this one's November. This one's also November. You got like two sheets of like, well, I got three of this one. I think you're supposed to get like two of every sheet. So there's November. I haven't looked at these yet and they're kind of like funny in a funny order, but they're supposed to be like two of each of the main sheets. So there's June and oh, here's October. <laughs> like I said, they're not in order, but that's okay. Um, birthdays, Monday, Tuesday, important day off. I'm guessing that's when you get paid or maybe that's when you have to pay your bills, which is whichever, you know, works for you. And there's some bill, like some money there. two of those here's July look how pretty those are though and I think these will look really nice with the other stickers that I got uh, oh this is upside down so I like these ones that have like laundry um, grocery shopping your budgeting which I'm gonna need some of these because like I said I'm trying to get my life in order here people the life of chaos as it is. Uh, vitamin C, that's really cute, vitamin C. Uh, this is for August. Look how cute those are. I love flamingos, I got a thing for flamingos. Here's March. Aren't those cute though? Here's May. Look 
fiesta like there's no manana that's so cute here's some more little like icon stickers like if you're traveling you take an important call to like mail off letters or emails there's two of those here's december i love these I have a thing for gnomes. I don't know if I ever mentioned. I think they're so cute. Because I'm hanging with my gnomies. Here's February. I don't know why President's Day is upside down, but that's cute. Here's that. And then January. So I love that. Labor Day in September. I love that. You can see all these very well. And you'll get a better view of these two as I use them. International Dance Day. I wonder what that is in April, what date that is. But Earth Day, Spring Bucket List. So cute. So I'm super excited to use these in my planner as well. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of good things to use for that. And then... Um, this past weekend, so yesterday was Sunday, today's Monday. Um, with that, we're going to switch around a little bit. So yesterday I talked Roger into going, to, not yesterday, Saturday, into going to Hobby Lobby because, you know, of course Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. So this is actually paper that I got last year. Um, and it was on sale. I think it was like half off. So it wasn't like five bucks or six bucks or something. Cause you know, they always put their Christmas stuff on half off sale. So, but I love these papers. They're kind of like more traditional looking papers, which is totally my jam. Cause I love vintage retro, of course. So I thought those were super cute. So I got those la that last year, but then this year I wanted to make gift card holders and so while I was picking up my stuff Roger found this little box and he put that in the cart also for me to put all my stuff into because he's cute like that so this dear Santa sticker pack they are so cute and like retro love this my dad's kind of the bottom humbug kind of person around Christmas so I figured that'd be great for his gift card but yeah, so I want to make gift card holders because um, I just think it's a fun way to jazz them up. And then we have my um, besties family Christmas party that we're going to in December. We're also going over for uh, Thanksgiving. So there's that also. But um, right now, oh, sorry, Hobby Lobby has like their Christmas stuff uh, half off. Now, some of the stuff is half off there. Some of it's not. It just depends on where you find it in the section. So like if it says Christmas or something, it's like half off. So I got these because they're super, they have like some glitter on them. I love glitter. But they're very traditional, kind of vintage looking. And then I like these Santas. I thought they were so cute. So there's the Santas. And then I got these also. And again, very traditional Santa related stuff. Started cutting out some of the stuff to make a gift card because I'm gonna actually do that on video, but I wanted to kind of practice one first. Um, and then I got a package of um, cardstock to go with, of course, the papers I already had over there. So that's essentially what we're gonna be working on up soon as well and then of course I had to get glitter glue because you know I love glitter and I wanted to add a little extra sparkle and shine to everything and then I had to get some glue sticks I have some double-sided tape somewhere but I'll have to dig that out from wherever I hit it last year but anyhow so that's kind of what I picked up well kind of that is what I picked up this last little bit so these are gonna all go for the purpose of the gift cards and then anything left over of course I can use in my planner I thought those were so cute. And then this box is only like $3.99 for a storage box to keep everything nice and neat, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, 
So that is where we are right now. That's all my planner and gift card stuff. Oh, kind of stretch. So anyway, I hope you will hang out with me in the upcoming videos, spend some time while we work on getting our lives in order for next year. I just feel like I have lived in a state of chaos for so long because the house hasn't been finished and we've had so much other stuff going on. And I just don't know how many times I'm going to knock over that glue. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, I've been kind of out of sorts and I'm hoping that, you know, coming out all of this with a plan, you know, like a plan of action and, you know, getting my life together is going to help a lot because um, I don't like that feeling of, you know, not really having a plan or having an idea of where, you know, what direction I want to go in has really been kind of detrimental to getting things done. Um, I've always been kind of a big, like I said, a list maker, planner kind of person. Um, these are going to be so handy when I make the gift card holders. I can't even begin to tell you. But, you know, just for so long, not having anything um, organized has just been kind of really killing me. And I think it goes a lot towards, you know, how you feel and your mental health and, you know, your mental state when you can be more organized and, you know, getting your life right. And so that's kind of what I'm hoping for at this point is um, to do all those things and make it easier and better for Roger and I on, you know, getting things paid off and just planning for those things that I have, like I said, that are coming up um, and things that we need to save for because they are coming up. So that's kind of where I'm going with all of this. And so I hope you guys will stay tuned and hang out with me. Um, so I hope you guys will stay tuned and hang out with me in the future. Um, I know it seems like kind of a lot and it's kind of chaotic and it's not milk glass, which I know everybody's normally here for. But again, um, it's really hard to share all the things that I want to share with you guys when I'm coming at it from a place of complete and total, you know, who knows what's going on in my life. So anyhow, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys will come back and like I said, hang out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, bye.